Hey guys, today we're going to make a delicious sardine dish based on my recent trip to Ibiza. We're going to make a sardine cremeux with a dried tomato and bell pepper tartare, a sardine focaccia, a bell pepper emulsion and a delicious sardine and fig leaf tuya. So, let's begin! First the sardine tuya. For this I use the oil from a can of sardines. Weigh 30 grams of the oil and then transfer it into a blender. Now also add 45 grams of egg white, 3 grams of salt, 40 grams of flour, 20 grams of sugar, 8 grams of butter and 3 grams of squid ink. Blend this till smooth. Once it's smooth, spread it on a tuya mold. This one is from Mold Brothers, find a link in my bio. After that, bake them at 160 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes till dry and crispy. Then remove them when still hot to prevent them from breaking. Now for the tomato and bell pepper jelly. First remove the stems from 10 tomatoes and make a thin incision on both sides of the tomato. Then blanch the tomatoes for 30 seconds in boiling water. This will loosen the skin. Then directly cool them down in ice water and repeat it with all the tomatoes. After that remove the skins with a small knife. The skins you can dry at 60 degrees celsius and then blend into a delicious powder that's great for seasoning. Now you can cut the tomatoes in four and then remove the seeds. Keep the seeds for the jelly. The tomato you can spread on a tray that's lined with a silicon sheet. Now drizzle some olive oil on top and season it with flaky salt and black pepper. Then dry them at 60 degrees celsius for around 3 hours till almost all the moisture has vaporized. Meanwhile take a couple of red bell peppers and toast the skin with a blowtorch. Then let them sit for 30 minutes to cool down completely. Once cold, use a small knife to remove the toasted skin. You can also rinse them under running water, but then you will lose a lot of flavor. Now cut the bell pepper off the seeds and then cut them in small cubes, also known as brunois. Then back to the tomato. It's super flavorful and the texture is great. Also cut it in brunois. Now for the jelly. Transfer 300 grams of the tomato seeds in a cup and also add 30 grams of fer jus, 10 turns of black pepper, 3 grams of salt and 1 clove of garlic. Blend this to completely smooth. Once smooth, pour it on a sieve that's lined with a kitchen paper to clarify it. Let it drain for a couple of hours so you don't waste a single drop. After that, soak 2 leaves or 3.3 grams of gelatin in cold water. Then pour 50 grams of the tomato liquid in a saucepan and heat it up till it starts to steam. After that, turn off the heat and dissolve the gelatin. Now while stirring, add 200 grams of the tomato liquid and mix it well. Then add the bell pepper brunoise and the tomato brunoise. Now mix it and fill your desired bowls. Mix it with every scoop you take. Then let it cool down in your fridge. Now for the focaccia. Pour 250 grams of flour into a mixing bowl and also add 250 grams of cold water, 4 grams of sugar and 7 grams of dry yeast. Now mix it for 1 minute and then let it rest for 30 minutes. Then add 4 grams of salt and mix it on a medium high speed for 7 minutes. This is my favorite go-to, easy and fast way to make focaccia. Then add a layer of olive oil in a bowl and transfer the dough on there. Now cover it with wrap or wet cloth and let it prove for 3 hours. Meanwhile, take a couple of sardines and remove the bones. Start with the spine and then the smaller bones. Then add a thin layer of olive oil in a metal container and gently scoop the focaccia dough on there. Drizzle some more olive oil on top and gently level it by pressing the dough down. Now spread the sardines on top and also add some flaky salt and chai flowers. Then bake it at 190 degrees celsius for around 15 minutes till golden brown. After that let it cool down completely. Now portion it and serve it straight away. Then for the bell pepper emulsion. Mix 40 grams of egg yolk with 25 grams of sushi vinegar, 4 grams of salt, 40 grams of the clean bell pepper and 2 grams of smoked paprika powder. Now blend this till smooth. Then add 180 grams of sunflower oil and blend it once more till it's completely emulsified. Once that's done, transfer it into a piping bottle and let it set in your fridge for at least one hour. Now for the sardine cremeux. Soak half a leaf or 0.8 grams of gelatin in cold water. Then mix 50 grams of sardine fillets with 15 grams of egg yolk, 100 grams of cream and 10 grams of butter. Blend this till smooth. Now pour it into a saucepan and while stirring cook it till it's 85 degrees celsius. Then turn off the heat and dissolve the gelatin. Mix it well. 
Then directly fill your desired mold and tap the mold a couple of times to remove any air bubbles. After, let it set in your freezer. Now for the fig leaf oil. Transfer 30 grams of fig leaves into a blender and also add 150 grams of neutral oil. I use sunflower oil. Then blend it till the oil is at 65 degrees Celsius. It will heat up from the friction. After that, pour it on a sieve that's lined with a kitchen paper and let it drain in your fridge. You can keep the oil in your fridge for a couple of days and in your freezer for two to three months. Making the fig leaf powder is quite simple. Just dry the fig leaves at 50 degrees Celsius for a couple of hours. Then transfer it into a blender and blend it into a fine powder. Keep it dry and covered for later. Now use the powder to dust a thin layer on the tuya and then it's ready to be served. Then we can start to finish the dish. First place the crameux on the jelly and let it defrost. Now pipe a couple dots of the emulsion around the crameux and drizzle some fig leaf oil on top. Place some parsley leaves in between and decorate it with chai flowers and some thyme flowers. Then serve it with the sardine focaccia and the black sardine tuya. Okay guys, that's it for today. I am super happy with the result. The dish looks amazing. The focaccia, it's super delicious. And it's quite simple to make as well. I love making focaccia. You can make any focaccia you like. Today I put sardines on top with the, with the chai flowers. But just with a little bit of thyme or flaky salt, it's already so good. So that's really my go-to focaccia recipe. Super easy. And then the little tuya, the fishnet tuya with the fig leaf powder on top. It smells delicious. I love fig leaf. And when I was in Ibiza, there was fig leaf everywhere. Um, let's just dig in. I think it's nice just for the guest to decorate the, the final plate on its own, just to, uh, to give the guest a little bit of an interaction experience, just to uh, finish it off. So that's super fun. And then let's see the jelly. Yeah, the jelly, it's, it's super, super, super unstable. So it's just holding, but it's, yeah, I think it's so good. A little bit of the, of the tuya as well. The delicious toasted bell pepper powder and that is really good. Mm. You can really taste the sardine, the toasted bell pepper powder, powder, sorry, toasted bell pepper, tatar, with the dried tomato and that delicious veggie jelly. And then, yeah, this is to die for. If you give me a basket of this, I can die a happy man. Um, so guys, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please let me know in the comments on what you want to see next. Like and share the video. It's my last video as a free man, because right now there's no ring on my finger. But on the next video there will be, because then, yeah, I'm married. Um, actually tonight we drive to Italy to get married. Super excited about that. Yeah, really can't, can't wait. Um, when I come back, I also have a lot of exciting news, a lot of exciting projects coming up. So stay tuned for that. Um, thanks for all the support, guys. And as always, bon appetit.